Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are creating this beautiful emerald green smoky eye. I wanted to pair it with like this nice peachy lip color. So hopefully you guys enjoy and before we waste any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so don't mind the red spot that I have right here. We'll cover it up in a minute, but the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Bosha Subaki Glotion. This is a really nice moisturizer. I'm going to be using a stick foundation today, so I just want to make sure that my skin is extra hydrated and has a nice glow to it. And I'm sorry if the background noise, if you can hear it, um, Nick is home right now because I'm filming in the evening because I didn't have time today. So he's watching a movie. I don't really remember what the name of the movie is, but they're like, it's an action movie, so it's about like war and stuff, stuff that would definitely give me anxiety. So I decided to sit down and just film a video. So I'm sorry if you can hear in the background. Hopefully you won't be hearing people scream for their life because it's just a movie in case you can hear it. After that, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Radiance Primer, one of my favorites. For eye primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Lid Primer. I'm just going to be applying this to my eyelids. So for today's eyeshadow look, I'm actually going to be working from the Too Faced Eggnog Scented Palette. Um, this was actually last Christmas palettes that they had, so I'm going to be using this today. Sorry if you guys don't have it. Um, this is what the palette looks like here. It is really, really pretty. We have some mattes, like we have some matte colors, and then we also have shimmers. I am like really obsessed with this green color. That's pretty much what the focus of today's look is going to be, is probably around that green color. So we'll just see what we come up with. But for starters, to set that eye primer, I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Frosty Nog. And I'm just going to be using this from my lash line up to my brow bone. And then switching to a nice fluffy crease brush, this is the Morphe M573. I'm going to go in with the shade right here in the palette called Skinny Latte. So I'm going to just pick that up on this. Wow, these are really pigmented. And they actually do, they smell like eggnog, which is very weird, but they smell like eggnog. It's very interesting. So I'm going to be taking that color and just running this through the crease. And I'm also going to do like a rainbow effect, so I want it to be pretty hugged into the crease. So that what I mean is that I'm going to bring that shade into the inner corner all the way through the crease and out to the outer corner as well. So it's kind of shaped like a rainbow. And then once you have that crease color applied, I'm going to go in with this. This is actually a Smashbox Precision Concealer Brush. So it's a really flat concealer brush, but I like to use it when I need to like pack on product on the lid. So I'm going to be picking up the shade right here in the palette, this nice green emerald shade. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, shall we? I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the palette, this nice emerald green shade. I'm taking that brush, picking up products, and then just literally pressing this on to the lid. This color is so pretty. I'm going to go back in with that Morphe brush that we use in the crease and just kind of lightly blend out the line where you can see where the green ended and started. Going back in with that concealer brush and just packing on more of that emerald shade. And then switching it to that crease brush again and just lightly blending it out. So this is what you should have so far. And then what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of the shade in the palette right here called Cold Brew. 
I don't think you guys can really see it on the camera of what it looks like, but it kind of just looks like an eyeshadow topper. Like it doesn't have a lot of pigment, but it has a nice sparkle to it. So what I'm going to do is just use this right on the center of my lid, just applying it with my finger because it's a lot more sparkly. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it on camera. Just to give like the middle of the lid a nice like center like focus. So it makes it a little bit more dimensional. That color is so pretty. I really like it. I hope you guys can see it on camera. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with that first eyeshadow brush that we used to set the primer. But what I'm going to do right now is just highlight again on the brow bone. Just so it's nice and blended. And for this look, I am going to use um, gel black liner. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia waterproof cream color in the shade Jet. So it is just a jet black um, gel liner. So I'm going to be using this on my Real Techniques. What kind of brush does this say it is? A silicone liner brush. This is really cool. Um, it doesn't have any brush hairs in it. So it's like a nice felt or no, not felt tip, a silicone brush. So you like never get like little hairs that stick out when you're trying to apply your liner. So that's convenient. So I'm just going to be doing this. Uh, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this and apply this as my liner. So now that liner is on, I'm going to go in with my face makeup. For today's foundation, I decided to try, or not to try because I've already tried it, but use the Sephora Make No Mistake foundation and concealer stick. So I'm going to be applying this. Let's definitely take care of this redness on my nose because for some reason I am just like really breaking out this week. And to blend out my foundation, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer. I'm going to quickly apply this underneath my eyes just because I do need a little bit more coverage under there. And because I am a little bit darker on the actual lid today for makeup, I don't want any darkness underneath my eyes. And then to set my face today, I'm actually going to be using the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent setting powder. I have the mini size one, but... Um, I'm just going to be using this today. It does come in a larger size in case you were wondering. And I'm, I'm going to actually use my sponge and dip it into the cap. And I'm going to be baking today. So I'm going to be applying this heavily underneath my eyes. And then we will let this sit. And baking really helps uh, from creasing helps the longevity of your concealer and your foundation in case you're wondering what baking is. I don't normally bake but I figured for this video let's give it a go. I'm also going to be setting my nose area because I have a lot of redness around my mouth because I definitely don't want it to crease there. And then I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face. I'm going to move on to the rest of my face makeup. And for my bronzer and blush, I'm actually going to be using this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. And this is in the number... Actually, it doesn't even have a shade on it. Does it say inside? It literally doesn't. I don't know if they have multiples. I'm sorry, guys. This is what the colors look like. So it has a nice bronzer shade. And it does have a little shimmer in it. And the blush does have shimmer in it. And the blush has more shimmer in it than the bronzer does, but I really like the combination of these, so we're going to try them today. So I'm going to start with the contouring. Wow, it's um, a lot, a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Um, why? That doesn't look right. I'm just taking a big powder brush and kind of just softening the edges. But can, can you guys see that? 
that actually looks horrendous like horrendous Ooh, it's um going on like really super patchy which is do you like can you see that oh boy okay going in with my powder brush and trying to make this look doable um which is weird because I always use, you guys know, the bronzer palette that I use. It has like the four shades in it. Um, oh, this guy right here. I always use this. Is this the blush palette? Where's my bronzer palette? It's on the floor. It's on the floor because I dropped everything on the floor. This is it. So you guys know that I always use this bronzer palette which is also by e.l.f., which I don't know if I told you guys that, this little duo that I'm using right now is from e.l.f. That's so weird because I love the bronzer palette, but I don't love this so far. So let's, let's just try the blush. And I'm going to be using this, the blush on no hair. I'm going to be using the angled brush and then just picking up a blush color. Tapping off the excess. Let's give it a go. Yikes. I mean, unless it's my skin for some reason that it's all of a sudden acting weird, which it has been acting weird. So I'm gonna take my powder brush again and just kind of go over the edges to kind of like buff it together. Definitely doesn't look how I prefer my cheeks to look, but it's okay. I don't want my channel to be about talking about products that aren't really my favorite things, unless it's a favorites video, which I'm still on the fence about talking about products that just I don't like. I'd rather be positive and talk about things I love. I don't know, just a thought that I have, but Anyways, so that's what we have so far. For my highlight today, I am going to use the Tarte Stunner Highlight. So pretty. I'm going to pick this up on my Real Techniques setting brush. Just pick up a little bit of that and pop it on the cheekbones. Hopefully this will like bring our face back to life. And then before we move on, I am going to take that powder brush again. Go underneath my eyes and remove that powder that we were baking with. Because now it's set for a while. So I'm just buffing any of that powder away. Now that the blush and bronzer is like sitting on my face, it actually looks better now that it must have warmed up to my face. Um, so it does look better than when it first was applied. So that's good. Let's go back to the eyes and finish up what we have going here. I'm going to be using a green uh, eyeliner just because I think it will match the look. It'll just look really nice. So this is the shade 3D Billionaire and it's from Smashbox. So I'm going to be using this in my waterline. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to a dense bullet brush. So it is just really short and dense. I'm going to be going back into that eggnog palette. I'm going to be picking up the shade Skinny Latte again right here, this like matte brown. I'm going to be buffing this along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to be applying this to my top lashes and bottom lashes. And for lipstick today, I decided to try out the Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Get It. I think it will look really nice with this look. So, and this was a, is a liquid matte lipstick, so, oh, I have lip balm on, so let me remove that. This color is so pretty, I love it. Um, to top it all off, I'm going to be using the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray and applying this to my face. That completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. And until next time, I'll see you soon.